An anonymizer power-up is uh, useful when you want to remove uh, PII or any sensitive data from uh, Google Analytics 4. Um, the configuration of an anonymizer power-up is extremely simple. Uh, all you need to do is open your uh, SGTM container on Stape, click power-ups and then select an anonymizer power-up. Here uh, you can see a list of uh, parameters that you can anonymize or remove using this power-up. So the list is uh, pretty big, I won't cover it, uh, but uh, let me show you an example. So the uh, two most common parameters that uh, our users want to remove is IP and client ID. So client ID is a, a very um, sensitive parameter because it allows uh, Google to identify exact same user. Uh, I will select anonymize strict for the IP. It means that uh, our power up will remove the last two octets of user IP. And uh, client ID, I will select anonymize. And I guess, yeah, also I will remove user ID, session ID, and uh, any query parameters. Once you've selected all the th all the parameters that you want to anonymize, click save. The next step would be to add a new tagger se tagging server URL to your GA4 tag settings inside the web GTM. Uh, this is my web Google Tag Manager, and this is the Google tag that sends data to server. Okay, so I've already changed the tagging server URL to those that contain slash anonymize, but uh, let me show you how it looks. So uh, in variables, I have uh, two variable types. Uh, basically for my tagging server is the standard one and the one with anonymizer. The one with anonymizer, uh, it ends with slash dot anonymize, uh, slash anonymize and the normal one is just a tagging server URL that we created for the SGTM. Now let's test. Let's test. This is my web GTM preview and server GTM. So we already received the page view request from GA4 uh, in the SGTM click request and check the outgoing request. So the easiest thing is to check user IP. So this is the IP that uh, Google Analytics received. Uh, you can see the last two octets uh, were replaced by zero. So the same goes with the client ID parameter. Um, as you can see, the standard client ID was removed and here we have a number of uh, symbols that in our case represent hash of IP plus user agent and year plus months. Uh, you can also do a more strict anonymization of the uh, user ID by selecting anonymize strict. In this case, uh, it will consist of a hash of IP, uh, user agent, and a timestamp. Um, the second way on how you can test uh, the anonymizer is go to your uh, Google Analytics 4, open debugger, and check how GA4 received the data. So, um, yeah, basically, let me click through my website. Let's wait uh, till the debugger receives some events. So you can see here in uh, the G4 debugger uh, all the parameters that G4 received, and you can click any of them uh, to understand if any like user data was removed or not. Uh, that's it for using anonymizer. Thank you for watching.